today's video is all about school. Yay! Today I'm going to be talking about what is on my iPad for school, kind of college edition. But note that these apps are not just for college. Some of them are pretty much just focused on college, but some of them are just good for studying in general. This is my iPad. I don't have a name for it yet. I don't know if people who normally name their iPads, but I feel like I should like, introduce her, but no, but she's pink. I actually made my own little folder called college, so I thought it was all organized and cute. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try not to make this glare too much. I know that's like annoying people are like, oh, it, it's blinding you, but really I'm in front of a window, so um, you'll probably just see like my front yard versus like the actual app, so that's the only reason why. But I'm going to start with the first app, and this is a very generic app, but I still think it's really, really helpful for anyone who wants to study and just do papers and stuff, and that is the dictionary app. Woo! I'm not going to go into it too much. It's a dictionary. You type in your word, you find it. Um, you can also do this, uh, the, what? The thesaurus. Can't even say that word. The cool thing about this app though, um, versus just, you know, on your computer, is that there's this little button up here. I don't know if you guys can see it, that's a little microphone. And when you click it, if you just hear a word but you you never know how to spell it or something, you can say it and then it will actually um, pop up with the word that it thinks you're saying. So I think that's really nice. So the next app is called Dragon Dictation. This is what the app looks like when you first open it. And it's just this really like generic app that just says tap and dictate. And it's a little record button. And this is helpful if you have written your notes down um, on a piece of paper. Or maybe your friend went to, like your roommate went to class and you somehow were gone that day and you want to take that person's notes or something. This is a nice app to help you with that. All you have to do is click record and then you can start talking and then it will turn it into like a paper. So um, I'll give you an example. So I'll click tap. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I am recording off of my iPad exclamation point. Sorry, I paused because I didn't think it was actually recording. Um, so this is what it says. It spelt my name wrong, that little brat. But it typed it out perfectly other than that. It's just something to make things a little bit easier. I know you may not use this a lot, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to have. The next one is called No with No W Textbooks. And this is a really unique app. This app is really great for if you either can't find a textbook that you need for your course or if you just don't want to carry it around because it's really heavy. This is a really nice thing to have. So basically you can search, you make an account and then you can search for um, if they have your course. And if they have the book that you need, you can just go ahead and use your textbook and access it right on here instead of actually lugging around a textbook. Um, now some people prefer to have a real textbook. I understand that. It's totally cool. I might do that as well. I mean I probably prefer like an actual book that I can write in and stuff. But this one you can actually write on it too. This is an example book, Earth Science. And um, this is like your page and stuff. And you can go ahead and zoom in on it and stuff. So that's kind of nice. And also I think it's really cool about this is there's this little pen up here. And when you click it, you can, sorry if I'm like, you can't really see this because it's like blurry. But when you click it, you can go ahead and choose a color. You can choose um, brush size and you can go ahead and circle things or underline or whatever. Um, obviously you do have to still pay for the textbooks. This was just like a free one or something I think. But I think that's really nice. So the next app is Yelp and this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. It's always like in restaurants and stuff. Like there's like a sign. Maybe not always. I don't know. I just kind of notice it. But um, this is just a nice app to help you find restaurants. I'm not sure if it's just restaurants. You can correct me but um, yeah I know that you can just click your state and then you can you know find restaurants or um, yeah again I don't know if it's just restaurants or not but and you can go from your current location and find certain restaurants around you this is really helpful you know especially if you're going to college not in your state or you don't really know the area and you want to find somewhere to go this is a good app but an even better app I think for just kind of all around things not just restaurants is my next app called around me and this one is really cool because um, I'm going to type in, you can type in your current location or I'm just going to type in one because I don't want you guys to know where my exact location is right now. You can find from this app what kind of events are going on in, you know, your area. So you can find like what concerts or what, if there's like a city event or something or an art fair. And also there's um, more generic um, 
general things down here like coffee shops, hospitals, hotels, pharmacies, movie theaters, restaurants, um, theaters, taxis, all that kind of stuff. So I think it's really, really nice to have. You can get this on your iPhone. Next app is really helpful for me. I use it on my computer all the time and this is called Dropbox. And I'm not going to log in or anything because it's not that interesting. Um, but basically it's just something to help me send videos. Now it's not just videos. If you're making a project for school on a different computer, like let's say you don't have a laptop and you want to do it in the school's computer lab or library and um, you do the project on there, um, and you did you forgot your hard drive or something you can just use your Dropbox and send it to yourself like that or if you're doing a paper you can do photos you can send anything from yourself it's basically just like having a folder I think it's really nice to have and if I am doing like a paper partially on my iPad but then I want to transfer it transfer it to my computer then I can easily do that this one is called my homework and it comes up like this sorry for the windows and um, you also have a calendar on here. So it will tell you basically you can enter all of your courses and then you can enter the homework and deadlines and tests for each course so that you never forget that because I'm someone who tends to procrastinate on stuff and then um, you know before I know it I have three things to do in one night that I could have done weeks ago so I like to have a calendar that I can see in advance what I have to do and it will kind of circle what date and it'll tell you if you have anything on that date and then you can click homework and it'll tell you your upcoming homework, your late homework, or complete homework. And I think this is really nice to have. It keeps you on track, and especially with college, I know that there's gonna be a lot of studying and a lot of deadlines and stuff, so you don't wanna make sure that you get everything done. I think this is personally a great app to have, even for high school, you can get this on your iPhone. Um, it's just a great thing to keep you not procrastinating and just on track and getting your stuff done, so I think it's awesome. There's also an app that I really wanted to share with you guys that I'm getting, but um, I haven't entered my, when I got this iPad, you get $50 worth of apps, and um, this one is not a free app, so I just decided I would use that, but I haven't entered it in yet. This is called Sound Note and it's five dollars and basically I'll read what it says and then you know it'll just be easier if I say that but it says Sound Note is the best way to take notes in meetings, lectures, and interviews. It tracks what you type and draw while recording audio so you'll never have to worry about missing an important detail. During playback just tap a word, Sound Note will jump right to the proper time in the audio. I think that's super super cool because sometimes when you're writing um, notes you're like you go back, you know, maybe you don't look at it that day, you probably look at it like the night before a test and you're like, what was, what were we even learning? Like, what, what did I write? Like, this doesn't make sense, you know, stuff like that. And um, this way, it, you just type the word that you wrote or whatever, you can draw as well on your iPad or type. It helps if you have a typewriter, not a typewriter, a keyboard. Uh, what century are we in? But, um, and then it will go back to that audio place and play what the teacher was saying. So you're basically recording your lecture. Um, obviously this takes up space, so you might want to transfer this onto your computer once you get home, just so that you can do, you know, how many classes in a day that you have. Um, but I personally think that's a really, really cool idea, so you can record what your teacher's saying and also take notes at the same time, but you'll never miss what they're saying because you've recorded the entire thing. So I think that's super, super cool. Obviously there are a ton, a ton more apps that you can have to help you in college, like the flashcard app and stuff. I hope you found some new apps for your iPad, iPhone, iPod, or uh, MacBook. Wow, there are so many Mac products. <laughs> if you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to get back to you. But otherwise, I really hope this was helpful and have you, oh, I hope, had you hope, nope. Hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!